All right, everyone, welcome back to the video. Ocean is coming back, confirmed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Ocean will be back at reset tomorrow um, for EST players. Uh, EU players probably get in like two hours, I think. I don't know. Um, but Ocean will be coming back, so I hope you all are prepared. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's talk about the new relic sets and the old relic set. Uh, <coughs> All right, so, so let's get into it. Um, first, first of all, Dying Relic, make sure you that you bought all all these um things, your season passes. Don't 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 ask me about this, please. Um, mistakes are made. Anyways, make sure that you guys buy out all of your um things for the season. Uh, first of all, to get those out, you need the sacred tokens, especially. <coughs> sacred tokens are the um best thing in here because it's gonna get you paid relic sets for free um in the future. Um, right now, I am currently saving up all of mine of those for Heritage in the future. As you guys can see, I have four right here. That's one pity already. Um, so, yeah, I'm saving those for Heritage in the future. I, I recommend that all of you guys should save for Heritage as well because it's probably like, one of the best sets for most players. Um, anyways, uh, going over the new Relic set, we have... Dark Legend, which upon entering Holy Form crit damage boosts increased by 13% for two minutes. So I think it means your Holy Crit... Oh, um, is this... Yeah, okay. So your Holy Crit damage gain is getting a 13% increase, and then I'm at 25% increase. Um, I don't... I, I think for, like, a whale, this is good. But for like someone who kind of like just gets the important relic sets here and there, your 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 um relic stats are probably not going to be like too crazy. So I think that this is kind of garbage for anyone without a strong relic set or yeah holy form. But maybe if you're one of the people on the higher end of the spectrum, that's actually pretty good for you. <sighs> and then the passive set, which I'm very disappointed about. I mean, not that disappointed, I guess I should say. I'm not so really surprised, but um, a set, a passive set, I think, is very skippable for most people. Um, King's Blade, after entering the battle, gain 500 attack and 100 tenacity for one minute. Each enemy killed gains an additional 50 attack and 10 tenacity. Stacks up for five to five stacks for one minute. If no stacks are added during the duration, one stack will be lost every five. Wait, you lose one stack every five seconds? After okay, um. So the reason that this is bad, obviously, isn't even because that uh, it's 500 attack and 100 tenacity level one, because it's because it's it's temporary. This is a temporary set. Temporary, most sets I would say are temporary or kind of garbage because. Why would I want something that only works sometimes rather than all the time? Personally, like, it just goes back to my theory and cons consistency. Um, tem temporary can be good, depending on how strong you are. But again, this is like a PvP set, I guess I should say. Attack and Tenacity feels more PvP related than anything. And you're not going to really be killing anyone with that 500 attack and 100 tenacity. So, yeah. Um, at max level, you'll gain 1,400 attack and 280 tenacity after um, for one minute. And you'll gain 200 extra attack and 28 tenacity for five sacks. So what is that? 200 times five, so 2,400 attack. And 28 times five is, uh, 30 times five is, what, 150? So... 150 plus 280 is what? 420? Wait, guys, hold on. I'm embarrassing myself. I don't do math. Like, I'm just not even... I'm not even thinking right now. 2... Okay, what? 28 times 5 is 140. And then plus 280 is 420. So, I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But anyways, 420 tenacity with 2400 attack is not really worth it, in my opinion, for the cost of it. But... Um, yeah, the wings, let's go ahead and look at the wings for it, um, at max, honestly, these aren't bad, but, uh, these aren't bad, yeah, and then level one wings, these, these are pretty garbage, I would say, definitely not wings that I would, um, go out of my way to get, but, yeah, if you like them, you like them, I guess, um, 
so yeah, the this relics this relic uh thing is gonna be very skippable. As for the green tickets, I'm gonna make my assumption on the green tickets and say that it is going to be the um because uh, we had divine demise last time I believe, so I think this time it's gonna be the thunderous fury set, which is one twenty seconds. That's casting the first skill gain two hundred extra holy attack, and holy attack bonus increases to by three hundred because it's three stacks. So yeah. Unless you really want the wings, like the, the red fire wings, phoenix wings, flame feathers, whatever. Um, I recommend skipping this. Uh, so yeah. The green tickets, I'm serious guys, save everything for Heritage. Heritage is just the best relic set in the game. Like, no joke. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't say it's the best. I would say it's like pretty high up there though. But Heritage is pretty good. You guys should get it. Um, f you guys can potentially get it for free. Save your green tickets. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but save your green tickets. Please, guys, please. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.